Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading. Um, today is the 17th of June. Um, I'll use the Connolly Tarot. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you are interested in doing classes, getting a personal reading or donating to the channel, all the information is below. I want to say beautiful, look at that, truth coming through, something something coming to you here, some sort of information that's going to help you move forward on your journey, something here that's going to give you some insight into things. Beautiful, interesting. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> so we have the magician coming out first. Okay, so the magician's a beautiful card. This says... Whatever you need at the moment to do, whatever you do is in your hands. So you have everything at the moment you need to do. We see a person casting spells. So he sort of gives this idea that he's magical, but he has everything here on the table in front of him. So you have all the resources you need. This is, means that you can manifest what you want at the moment. So you're in a manifesting mood for love. <laughs> So you have love here. So you're absolutely 100% able to manifest love. Why do you think you're unable to do that if we're getting that coming through in the cards? Now, there's something here that has to be um, uncovered, discovered in order for you to move forward. And I think that's why the Ace of Swords has jumped out at the beginning. So maybe somehow or another, you're sort of wondering if you can bring love in. I'm here to tell you that love will come to you. You just have to put it out there that that is what you want. Um, there seems to be some sort of information that's not at hand at the moment. Now, it's really funny because we have the card of stability here. And I think that what they're saying here is that you need to be in this place yourself before you can bring in new love. So there's sort of this feeling you have to recognise your own stability here. But the other thing I want to say is this card does represent twin flame energy. But I get this feeling here that you are sort of wondering why you can't bring in the type of love you want or need. And with the Ace of Swords jumping out there at the beginning, I'm feeling here that what you want or need is there for you right there. It's on your doorstep, round the corner. It's right there. But for some unknown reason, you're not believing in yourself at the moment. And this magician card is here to say that you just need to believe in yourself. Very, very nice. All right, let's get some more information. Okay, so we have the judgment card coming through. Now, the judgment card is the card of second chances, of rebirth, of bringing in something new. So something is on its way. Now, because it's the judgment card, there's always this feeling that it's something returning or something that's giving you another chance. So it could be someone returning to you. But I want to sort of set your height sights a little higher than that because sometimes this can mean having a go at something that we have tried the first time around that didn't go well. So it could just mean that there is new love coming in for you to give you another opportunity to try in a different way. So it may not always be a person. It could be a second chance at love or another chance at love. All right, so we have the Page of Swords here. So what I'm thinking and feeling here is that you've got someone who's already got their eye on you. Someone is already here. This Page of Swords is the card of someone sort of surveying you over the internet, through your friends, trying to find out more information here. It's a little bit guarded too. So you may either not know him well or her well. Um, because I feel that this person is a little bit guarded. So they're not letting you know anything at this time. All right. So seven of cups coming through here. So the seven of cups talks about illusion, delusion, confusion. This person who's keeping an eye on you here. They're not really sure how you'd feel back again. That's why they're not taking a chance at the moment. So it's always when we feel really strong feelings for someone or we feel that, you know, the love for someone, the question always is, are they going to reciprocate? Are they going to um, 
tell us back how what we want to hear and it's always one of the biggest fears you have is to fall in love with someone who isn't loving you back um, and I feel like this person here is feeling a little bit that way it's sort of like they are really invested they really see everything they want in you but their fear is that if they make a move you may not feel the same way back again okay let's keep going now this is really interesting because there's the wish card is here which means there's a wish coming true here so this could be something really amazing for you it may be all you've wished for this person's got to fess up first all right so we have the transition card that is the card of death so this is about you know allowing things about you to sort of pass away so you know being able to let go of things being able to let go of certain energies certain people um, in order to move forward so when we're going through a transition it means we're realizing either the way we were doing something the way we were responding to something no longer serves us here and i think this is why the judgment card is here because what they're saying here is that you can have another chance at love. You don't have to doubt it. You just have to let go of this fear or this um, worry or pain that somebody's not going to love you back. That is your fear. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> we have the world card coming out here. So the world card, it talks about finishing out a cycle. Ending something. So once whatever you're going through has ended, this person will be able to move towards you. They will be able to let go of their fear and their beliefs and whatever's holding them back because they're letting go here. Oh, beautiful. Two of cups coming in. Okay. This beautiful story. Look, the universe pushing you along here. Okay. All right, let's just go through this again and I'll go back to the breaking that down. Okay, so the universe is saying actually you have everything you want at the moment. If it's love you want, you, there's something hidden from you at this time, but it's here. And you can bring it up. You can bring it through by just allowing certain things about yourself to go and believe in yourself here because you are the magician. You are the master manifester. Something here is about your stability. Something here that you've been stressing about, but actually behind that is the Ten of Cups. So I'm feeling here, oh, we have the Empress behind that. So I'm feeling here, there's some sort of fear of loving and your love not being reciprocated here. And I feel quite strongly here that you have someone or that you're dealing with someone who's been keeping an eye on you, who's feeling or actually worrying the same so both of you have a fear of being able to express yourself to someone um, because you are worried they don't feel the same way about you and because of that you're not allowing love in but the universe is saying here you have another chance to let love in you just have to let go of this fear of not being loved because somebody's coming in with an offer here that's going to make your wishes come true this illusion of not being loved, this idea, or maybe a delusion in this regard, that you've got yourself convinced that you are not lovable, or that you fear that you will fall in love with someone and they won't reciprocate or feel the same way. Whoever's coming in here for you feels exactly the same way about you. Exactly. And the universe is saying here, this is time. There's no more of this cycling in relationships because you're understanding now how to truly love someone and know they're going to love you back. Trusting completely that the universe has got your back here. All right. Let's just get an oracle card to put on that. Oh, no, I don't want that one either. There it is. Okay, we have the swan. The card is really stunning, isn't it? Such a simple card. 
such simplicity and yet so much beauty. 67. Okay, now I have to say yesterday I said something about the Oracle cards and I said a lot of people cut off the reading before the Oracle card. But the Oracle card is so important. It's always a message from spirit. And yesterday was really shown that after I'd said that, how relevant the Oracle cards are. Um, and so today I'm going to read you the whole card because I feel like there's a really strong message for you in here. And the swan always reminds me of the ugly duckling. And this is making me quite emotional talking about this at the moment so it's really cut and deep um the story of the ugly duckling feeling that nobody would love it because it was ugly and it grew up to be a beautiful swan and i think if you haven't read that story if you don't know that story i'm imagining you would then i'd go back and read it because i think it's really important right now gliding with grace nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul it can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving, and what is from the ego parading. Even though the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the holding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows all to be and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. Paramahansa, grace, great swan, the soul that moves the souls of others is reaching to you now. The guru, the teacher, the light, that love is that is all. You are blessed by sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and wants only for you to be free. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the greats of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love. Through meditation, yoga, kindness, dance, nature, singing. Whatever speaks to your heart and know you are one with the divine. And it's only a matter of time before you realise it. And the poem here says, to love from afar, all we share are dreams of what will unfold. Something beautiful is coming to you here. You've just got to let go of this fear of not having love reciprocated. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.